What is up, guys? It is Man here, bringing you another Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I don't know. I just my other tutorials got very good feedback, so I decided to do another one on how to use Twixter, as you can see in the tutorial preview. Now, if you don't know what Twixter is, it basically makes your video slow motion. Now, you're probably thinking right now, Wesley, if you just open up your clip and control drag it, that will make a slow motion. Well, if you go to, if you right click and go to properties, as you can see, the playback rate is only 25. This is 25%. It's, it's, it's a, a playback rate of 25%, which in Twixter you can get it to as low as a tenth of a percent, even lower than that. So you can go much, much more slow motion, and it's a lot smoother too. This looks a lot better montage and stuff like that. So, first of all, what you're gonna do is go to properties and make sure it's 12. Uh, 1280 by 720 and make sure this is very important make sure the frame weight is not any of these a lot of people put it at 29 no you put it at 59 frames per second or also look really choppy and nasty so make sure that's there all right you open up a clip and insert it in and this is the same clip that was in the tutorial preview now you gotta make sure your clip is 59.94 frames per second if it's not it is going to look very choppy you can still do twixter and stuff but it's just gonna look very very choppy and just icky okay so you really want a clip that's 59.94 frames per second all right so basically then you disable resample and maintain aspect ratio that just is gonna make the twixter look a lot more clean and smoother Alright, so now that you have your clip in that is 59.94 frames per second and is, um, um, disable re fuck, disable resample, <laughs> sorry, blah, okay, once you got that done, what you basically want to do is you want to go to where you want your Twixer to begin. I like where my Twixer to begin is where the last shot is fired in the kill feed and he is zooming out and it shows the kill feed. So when it goes to super slow motion, it's going to show the kill feed. That's what that's where I like my slow motion the best. You can put it wherever you want, but that's where I like it the best. All right. And a helpful tip to find out where your Twixer is, just kind of use these frame rate buttons that goes frame by frame. Alright, so I probably want my Twixer to start right about there. So where you want your Twixer to start, you press S on your keyboard to basically split your clip. That's basically what it does. Split your clip. Alright, so then basically what you want to do on the um, split clip that you where you want your Twixer, you click the Event FX button. And you go to Twixture Pro. Add OK. And I will put in the description a video to go to how to get Twixture Pro for free for Sony Vegas Pro for Sony Vegas Pro 12. Now you probably won't have a preset already that has the best settings, so you're just gonna have the default settings. But right now, switch your Twixter Pro settings, all these settings that I have right here. Display is Twixter output. Display layers all. Draw geome is checked. Time remap is speed. Speed percentage, just leave that alone for now because we're gonna go, we're gonna go back to that in a minute. Frame is zero. Track quality is best. BG motion sense is between 90 and 100. Make sure it's either 90 or 100 or anything in between that. Image prep is none. Chat chi opt flow is checked. Frame in interp is motion weighted blend. Warping is inverse. Smart blend is off. MB compend is zero. Circ mark seg is cut A. Start frame is zero and last frame is thirty thousand. 
All right, so basically once you got that done, all you're gonna do is right now it's gonna be default right now, and you you know you switch all your settings to what I just said they were, and you just put and you name it best, and you click this little save button right here, and then you'll have a preset ready. So instead of changing your settings every single time, you can just go down here and click best, and it'll, all the best settings will be there right for you. Okay, so basically, um, as I said before, 100% for Twixter means it's a regular speed back. The reg it's the regular speed. So you can go all the way down to 1% and stuff like that. Or, what I like best is 0.2%. That's two tenths of a percent. This is a very slow motion, but it is so smooth. I will tell you that it is... Oh my god, it's so smooth. But, um, yeah, so basically what you did is you put it to two tenths of a percent, which is 0 0.2. And now what you want to do is you want to preview your Twix Twixter. What you want to do is you want to click up here and drag over the part that's Twixtered. Go to Shift B. Click on shift and then B and then it will start to pre-render your video. Now this is going to take a while so I will return when this is done pre-rendering. Alright guys we're back and it's done pre-rendering so once you play it it will play it in whoopsie okay. It will play it as if it was rendered. See, see how smooth that slow motion is? It is just oh my god it's so smooth. So Basically guys, that's what Twixter is. It is just super slow motion that is super smooth and is very nice. Okay, also some people have problems with this, some people don't. If it if you play your slow motion and it's really warpy, mine's not that warpy right now, but if it's like really warpy right here, just change your BG motion sense down a bit. Mine's at 70 right now and it's actually supposed to be at 90. But yeah, if it's if it's a little warpy just uh bring it down a bit like maybe bring it down like 20 percent or something like that just so that the warp goes away um so yeah that's how to use twixter that's what twixter is it just it's a cool montage effect that i know a lot of people use and stuff like that so if this tutorial helped please give it a like comment subscribe all that mama jumbo i'm to cookie man and i'm out peace Oh, wait, also, wait, ooh, 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 that was close. If you haven't already, go check out my Last of Us Let's Plays. Okay, I really want those to get, like, I'm not going to, like, not viral or anything like that. I just wanted to get at least 100 views and stuff like that. So if you could really help me out, that would be great. Now, this is this is the final one. I'm Tukuk Man, and I'm out. Peace. What is up, guys? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and also... Click the annotations on the screen right now to watch some previous videos of mine that are really awesome and I think you would enjoy. I'm to Cookie Man and I'm out. Peace.